we have looked at manuscripts and I've spent a lot of my uh, time in my life just looking at the manuscripts, comparing them. And what I'd like to do is share with you what some of the, the scholars have to say about the New Testament. The first is William F. Albright, who was probably one of the greatest archaeologists ever. And this, this Jewish leader made this statement about the New Testament when he said, we can already say emphatically that there's no longer any solid basis for dating any book of the New Testament after about A.D. 80. Whoa! In my opinion, he said, every book of the New Testament was written by a baptized Jew between the 40s and the 80s of the first century, probably sometime between A.D. 50 and A.D. 75. That's the great Jewish archaeologist, William Foxwell Albright. And you realize in his lifetime, he wrote uh, books or major articles, over 800 scholarly books and major articles. And that was his opinion. Sir Frederick Kenyon, a man I've learned to respect over the years, he was the chief curator of manuscripts for the British Museum. Um, and this is his observation. I have to understand, he's one of the, he was one of the top experts in analyzing manuscripts. He said, it cannot be too strongly asserted that in substance the text of the Bible is certain. Especially is this the case with the New Testament. The number of manuscripts of the New Testament or early translations from it or quotations from it in the oldest writers of the church is so large that it is practically certain that the true reading of every doubtful passage is preserved in some one or other of these documents. Dr. F.F. F. Bruce, until he passed away several years ago, was a number one um, expert in the world at Manchester University. And he was, I would say he was the greatest authority on manuscripts. He made this observation. The evidence for our New Testament writings is ever so much greater than the evidence for many writings of classical authors, the authenticity of which no one would dream of questioning. And he went on to say, and if the New Testament were a collection of secular writings, their authenticity would generally be regarded as beyond all doubt. That is a lot from the number one authority in the world on manuscripts. And then again, Sir Frederick Kenyon, the curator of the British Museum in London, England, uh, he made this statement. He said the interval then between the dates of the original composition of the writing of the New Testament and the earliest evidence becomes so small as to be in fact negligible. And the last foundation for any doubt that the scriptures had come down to us substantially as they were written has now been removed. And then he made this amazing statement. Both the authenticity and the general integrity of the books in the New Testament be regarded as finally established. <laughs> 